Then like the Iwi people said, the giant skull devil came out once Kong was down. This is the alpha skull crawler, the skull devil, a destroyer. We're taken to the edge of the island and these could be the past ships that landed but never returned from Skull Island. The Spanish navigators I mentioned earlier wound up on the shores of the beach and this could be their ships. Cole then sacrifices himself and it's honestly such a brutal scene. Packard was a monster and went pretty rough. Rhonda went out super dirty, but this one, it just felt unnecessary. We start watching Kong versus the Skull Devil and baby, this fight is pretty sick. Kong tries to pry open the Skull Devil's mouth like he did the T-Rex in the original King Kong movie. He also did this in the 2005 King Kong movie. Weaver shoots this red flare. The way it falls around the battle reminds me of the Halo jump scene again in 2014's Godzilla, the little red trails leading down to the big battle at the bottom. This use of a tree could be a reference to the OG Godzilla vs Kong film where he shoves a tree down Godzilla's throat. But then the swing also reminds me of how we keep talking about baseball throughout this movie. And let me tell you, that was a massive baseball bat swing. Jordan said the shot was influenced by those old school Western gunslinging standoffs as well. 